Hi everyone, welcome to my rescued plant haul video. So today I'm talking about plants that I quote unquote rescued. Rescued plants are basically plants that I've found in garden centers that are tucked away in a side of the corner, most likely at the clearance section, and they're not looking their best. They but even though they're not in their best condition, I can see the potential in them that if I just give them a little bit of nurturing and TLC, that they would become the plants that they're supposed to be. And these are plants that I've been wanting to get for a long time, but they're not quite as available in my area. But I'm glad I found them and I got them for a really, really low price. So that's one good thing about rescued plants is that you can get them for a very, very low price than the, what they would normally go for. And yeah, so I'm gonna be talking about four different plants today. And let's get started. So my first rescued plant is the Ficus Lyretta, which I named Sansa. So when I got Sansa, I found her at Lowe's at the clearance section and she was only going for $9. And I've always wanted to have a Ficus Lyretta, but they're not as common in my area. So they weren't easy to find and she was the only one. And she was looking in really bad shape. She was really overwatered and had many burnt and dried leaves and by the time I took out all the dead leaves and the damaged leaves she only had seven leaves left and even then once I took her home I had to take out three more just because I was fearing there might be fungal or bacterial infection in them and once I have let the soil dry out I watered it with a fertilizer that's specific for fiddly figs and it has been doing really well. All the leaves that you see now are new growths. The remaining old leaves that it came with, I took it off just to be safe and make sure that all the leaves that are growing are healthy and not are sick that would infect the rest of the new growths. And this one actually originally had four more baby stems in them. One I'm propagating in water downstairs. The other one I already potted in soil which is this one. Really gorgeous. And there's two tiny ones that surprisingly taken roots. So once they grow a couple more inches of roots I would also put them in soil. But yeah so this got started my addiction if you can call it that in rescuing plants at um, garden centers because this one did really really well and what I like about it is now I can shape it to the shape that I want it to be for this ficus lyretta and yeah I'm really excited to see Sansa grow. My next rescued plant is the Pilea peperomiotis aka the Chinese money plant or the friendship plant. I haven't given this a name yet but um, this one I only got for $9 at the Home Depot. It wasn't on clearance, it was just at the indoor plant section and it was a hanging plant with another one of its kind. But the other one was in a much terrible condition than this one. And this one was actually very root bound when I got it. It had four BB plants on its side and it was very much underwatered and it had a lot of dried and burnt and damaged leaves. Some of which are still here. I haven't taken them out yet. I'm just waiting for new growth to come out before I take them out. But the baby plants like this one, this one, and this one, they are looking pretty good. And even this one is like producing a baby of its own. And there's another one that's downstairs. So yeah, I mean, for $9, this is not bad considering I got in four plants out of it. While Pileas are not, or Pileas, however you pronounce it, are not as expensive as they used to be when they first became popular. They're still not quite as cheap. In fact, when I went to another garden center, they were selling Pileas and just this size alone was about $8. And I got this and everything else for $9 only, so yeah. So I really like this plant. I wasn't, this wasn't exactly on my wish list, but when I got it, I thought it was gorgeous. And I was eager to take it home. And very soon, I think, it, I hope it grows tall and more round. 
and have more beautiful leaves and more babies. So yeah, that's my pilea. This next rescued plant is one that I'm probably most excited about right now and it's my Monstera Deliciosa. I got this at Lowe's Garden Center. It wasn't on clearance but it was only $14.98 but because it was in such a bad shape when I found it, um, I went up to the cashier and said, oh this is quite a bit of a damaged plant. Is there a way I could get a discount? And she immediately said, yes, yeah, I could give you a 10% discount. So from $14.98, she only charged me $12 for it, which was quite a good deal. At first, I didn't want to get this, and I actually saw two Monsteras in another Lowe's Center that was also in a very bad shape, but it was the only two that's there. And I kind of hesitated because I didn't want to take on another rescued plant project. But then I saw this at this Lowe's and this was the only one and it was in a bit of a better shape than the first two that I saw in the other store and I just couldn't pass it up this time because it was just the right size and this one is what really sold me on it. This beautiful huge leaf that's already split that's right on top. It's like crowning glory so I thought that if this plant could could produce another leaf like this I'll be more than happy and it actually has quite a bit of new growth this one is coming out although it has a bit of damage and it was like that when I first got it but it already has splits and this one that's coming in I could already see that it already has splits as well I had to cut off um, a few of the leaves like this one this one and this one just because they were like severely damaged, a lot of burns, and they were yellowing as well. But some of the leaves that have burns, I decided to keep them like that one and just like cut around it a little bit. And like this one, that was a burn and I just like took it out so now it's like a hole. Which is like, you know, a characteristic of a monstera so I don't mind. And this one as well. So, yeah, but like uh, but I mean plants grow, they're gonna grow new leaves and they're gonna produce more beautiful ones so kind of like with the fiddle fig leaf I don't mind keep it, keeping these leaves for now and once new growth comes in I'll just take out the other damaged ones but I don't think I have to because they look fine the way they are I think so yeah that is my Monstera Deliciosa and I'm so happy to get this plant because I know this is a very sought after plant right now and it's amazing that I've got it just for $12. Yay! Last but certainly not the least is my string of pearls. So I've been wanting a string of pearls for a very long time but this was also another hard one to find in my area and so when I found this at a farmers market I immediately wanted to get it but it wasn't also in the best condition. There was actually about only four of them or five maybe um, in the succulent section and this was the best looking one um, but I decided to get it anyways because even though it's not in the best condition when I first found it this cost only $3.99 yes $3.99 and when I get rescued plants even though they are not in the best condition I always look for a few things so that I know it's still worth the take them home and number one thing is finding new growth and as you can see this string of pearls actually have flowers in it so that's a sign that it's actually producing and it's growing and has a lot of baby birds around there so sometimes if you just take out the dried leaves and all the burnt leaves and take care of the watering it plants do bounce back and they bounce back pretty quickly and easily and they become the plant they're supposed to be so yeah and I really hope this grows long soon because I want it to be a hanging plant and yeah so that is my string of pearls so that's it from a rescued plant haul if you have any questions about any one of them please leave a comment down below and I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you like it, please like and subscribe and hit the notification button. And 
in the description there's a link to my blog as well please do check it out and you can also follow me in social media at my wasteless life on pinterest twitter and on instagram thanks for watching again bye